to hear one of the most provocative partnerships in rock performing a big hurt from their current LP, Tin Machine 2. This is Reeves Gabrels, Hunt, and Tony Sales with David Bowie, otherwise known as Tin Machine. out there they got a, like an outfit on yeah they're, they're soldiers yeah that's that's i know i've seen that before yeah <laughs> the village people they've reformed <laughs> okay here we are in biosphere and uh <laughs> we should introduce ourselves and i'm uh, i'm tony sales i'm hunt sales i'll be reeves Gabrels. and i guess that means i'm david bowie <laughs> We're collectively Tim Machine and we're breakfast music for Terminators. How did you all meet? Tell me about that Switzerland affair. It, well, actually, we were in Brazil. It oh, was we... a dark and stormy evening. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we all have the same plastic surgeon down there. <laughs> and and we, it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Okay. <laughs> Had you ever heard these guys play? Yes. 
but we still decided to become a band. <laughs> See, Listen, I've, I've been, I was a big fan of David's. I go way back to like uh, 89, 90. I've been into his stuff since, <laughs> since the old days. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we met we met years ago, about 1971 or two, at this place called Max's Kansas City, which used to be a hangout, Andy Warhol people, all those people. Uh, we met then, and I don't know, later on we got together. Do you want to continue? The... I think we just really, we wanted to uh, write and play stuff that we weren't hearing on the radio, and uh, kind of stuff that appealed to um, our several generations. <laughs> okay. Sandy, let me see that uh, boys dead, something with the word dead in it you got over there. Yeah. Now, this explains the entire marketing scheme. This ain't a Bowie thing. This is Tin Machine. And what was that? No, oh, I see. Yes. The Bowie's dead machine lives. You, you'll notice on that none of us have any clothes on. I think uh, it's because I'm donating my wardrobe to medicine. Uh, for tra transplants for fashion victims. You know, what made you decide... <laughs> what made you decide that you wanted to um, get involved in a group effort and get out of the forefront? They made me do it, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because... Well, the Iggy Pop thing, the, the whole tour, you kind of took a back seat. Yeah, but that, that's when, actually, we did first meet. We, we worked together. I was working as a keyboard player with uh, the Sales Brothers on that tour, just in a backing band, backing Iggy Pop. So that was a good break. And we got to know each other instrumentally there. And, and Reeves came in about three years ago into this, this strange brew that we had going. Uh, and we just kind of had a workshop. And the music that was coming out of it was exactly what we all wanted to hear. So we stayed together. Yeah, uh, Reeves... I've been familiar with your work for a Doctor long time. Reeves. Yeah, doctor. <laughs> um, you will play guitar with anything. Uh, <laughs> I'll say that again. <laughs> I mean, really? Wait, just actually, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, electric razors, marital aids. Um, I never yeah. thought of it as a marital aid. I can't, we, none of us can think of it anymore as a marital aid. For us, it's a musical instrument. Yeah, why don't, let's let them in on this. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's a vibrator. <laughs> but you've got to understand that the, the, the funniest aspect of it, when he wanted a sound that made the strings of the guitar buzz, and so we decided the vibration thing of a vibrator. So he went around all the sex shops in Sydney where we were recording, asking them for different, from lady fingers up to double dongs or whatever it is. <laughs> um, actually, holding them up, holding them up to his ear. And he was in one shop, and there was a guy with a vacuum cleaner vacuuming up, and Reeves goes... And the guy goes, no! It's true! You have to suffer for you. You should have been there. <laughs> oh, David, who did you idolize when you were uh, young? When I was a kid, um, I, wanted to be, I wanted to be a sax player in the Little Richard Band. That was, when I was eight years old, that's what I wanted to do. Wow. Who'd you guys idolize? Uh, James Brown, mm -hmm. Buddy Rich, uh, different people like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same? A little Richard, yeah. You know, the... guys, that, guys that really could sing. I yeah. really love singers, you know? Yeah. John Coltrane and stuff. John Coltrane, great singer. Train. <laughs> 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 Can we talk about something serious just for a second? He's hat. No, you know, Charlie Parker and... and Salvador uh, Dali. Dizzy and all those cats. I, I like those guys. Charlie's a great singer, too. Yeah. Or, Ornette, Ornette You're Feldman. You're confusing people. Or, Ornette Feldman was definitely... Uh, okay, okay, stop. Now, we've got to talk about something serious. This is very serious. Right. Uh, I'm being serious. Serious stuff. <laughs> Shopping for girls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We've been wanting to do that for a long time. <laughs> um, this song is very important, especially to you. And tell them about the connection, this and your wife and everything. Well, my, uh, my wife did a, a story on uh, the exploitation of children in the third world, from child labor to child soldiers uh, to child prostitutes. And this song came out of conversations that, that we had had with, with David about both of us having seen it firsthand, having been in uh, in Thailand and uh, where it's not unusual to find 12 year old 
girls sold into prostitution um, you know for money for their families or whatever reason but it there was a particular article in the newspaper at the time that said oh well every you know there's no there's no uh, disease there's no you know the prostitutes in Thailand are all happy you know it's it's a very sort of fantastic picture of what goes on there which wasn't true and isn't true and that's sort of what the song is about yeah what's your favorite song on the album uh, there's I like it all as a body of work you know yeah. it's, it's not one or the <clears throat> other I could say one or two but I'd be lying my songs no oh look talking about the album let's, yeah let's yeah yeah bring it up it's uh, coming to Christmas and as you know we're a very low budget band right yeah yeah, yeah. you do know that you do appreciate that <laughs> I mean I, I can tell that by the fee that we get when we do TV oh, shows but, ouch, but ouch, this, David, uh, ouch. we've given you a little Christmas present that we thought you'd appreciate <laughs> Can you see that? Let's, let's discuss this for a minute because... Let's discuss this for a minute. Shall on, we the, see <laughs> on the album, yes. there are fig leaves covering... Well, no, the... they ripped them off. They, um, the the <laughs> genitalia. I don't know... Now, that's your... Oh, oh. Don't. <laughs> I don't know what's under... <laughs> it's, a, it's a slap thing. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> Oh, see, this is not the one well, I've seen. Uh, which one? What have we got here? See, oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, see, this is the one so with the real penises. This is that's, 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 that's the one. That's the one. You can show that if you like. Yeah, well, I don't know if we can, but man. It's sort of, they hey, kind of hey, like hey, that, hey, but, hey. They're, um, <laughs> but they're smaller and white. <laughs> <laughs> But we thought we'd give you this for, you, uh, for your celebratory days before and after Christmas. I'll take it. Um, this is because see the album that you all will purchase in the stores. There is uh, America some kind of in America only. Yeah. Really? Okay. There are fig leaves and stuff over the genitalia, but um, that's not the way you wanted it originally, right? No. No. no, no, no that's not the way the Greeks no, they wanted them off. They, they, they hacked them. It looks like a bad sex change now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep this. <laughs> you may need it. <laughs> what did that mean? Uh, <laughs> all your answers on a postcard, and the best reply will receive a guest appearance on the show. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how's Dad? Good. You Good. all know that these are the sons of Soupy Sales, right? <laughs> please, please, don't stop. Shop. Yeah. Yep. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a photo because I didn't think y'all would believe me. Where, where's that photo? Uh -huh. See? Ah. Uh -huh. See that? No, actually, Soupy, Soupy was. Uh, Soupy used to be in ZZ Top. Yeah. That shot you can see. <laughs> That's a cute picture. Yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I, I don't have any baby pictures. I was never a baby. I'm a. Oh, yeah, we can take them back. Maybe not to, to babyhood, but Sandy, wait, take us back just for a second. Stop him from laughing. Nothing can stop me from laughing. <laughs> God, it's what are you showing the Madonna video for? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> That, is that so, you know something, I, even so, I, I mean, uh, every self-respecting Englishman, as you know, puts on a dress at least once a year. I'm glad I was born in Cleveland. But I, <laughs> you know, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to show you the kind of activity that we found out about in Cleveland. Can we show our little bit of real, please? I want it. Together, heavens in here. This is Tent Machine.